All right, we got to give you some things to do. So if you find yourself reaching for those sugary or salty snacks, mm -hmm, we do, uh, a lot more these days, well, Ricardo has some tasty alternatives that will hit the spot. He's joining us from Montreal. Bonjour, Ricardo. How are you? Uh, great, and, and it's nice to talk to you. And I miss Toronto also was uh, watching the guy before me. <laughs> and I'm there every uh, week almost, so it's like a, it's a different life. Three weeks that I'm in my house with my yeah. daughters, the wife, my mother-in-law, <laughs> and everyone told me we are going to be fat after this because we <laughs> eat a lot of snacks. I'll tell you what, I like your beard. I see what's happening there. And also, I thought this was like your studio home. It's yeah. your home. You are putting Drake's mansion to shame with this gorgeous space. So thanks for inviting <laughs> us into your kitchen, yeah, okay? Drake's. Ricardo, you thank you so much. <laughs> so we but don't it's want... True we... that snacking... Yeah, let's get to it. It's... Yeah, so... Yeah, because, I mean, we're working home, so each time you're hungry, it's like the fridge is there, the pantry is there, so I was thinking, let's make, like, it crisp. Listen to this. I mean, it's really a chip. How do you make it? Well, if you have a little mandoline, it's perfect. Just don't forget the guard or a protection glove. Yes. I like to core the apples. And, uh, and then it's just a matter of slicing them very thinly, and that's it. There you go. On the mat, oh, it wow. can be uh, either uh, like this, a silicone mat or parchment paper yeah. in the oven. According to the size, the thickness of the apples, it can go from an hour to three to four hours. I've made some others like chunkier. I mean, some like it bigger like this, yeah. so it depends. And the color... The color is going to depend on the heat of the oven. Mm. So make it as, as 170, it'd be perfect. So, so as low as you can, this is how you're going to actually make uh, these apples. And you can put some cinnamon on it. You don't need sugar. Canadian apples, let's make everything Canadian. Let's work on our own economy. And uh, it's going to be great. So from savory, uh, to, from sweet to savory, I like bagels. I hear that crunch. In Montreal, yeah, that crunch we're lucky. Good. Yeah. We have the best bagels. But the thing is, they don't keep for long. So what I like to do is to make chips with them. So you take your bagel, put it flat on your board like okay. this, and make very thin strips of it. Be careful with your hands. And so you make these chips like this. You will actually put it on a baking sheet. And what I like, I yeah. take Canadian mm. oil, canola you put some oil on it, then you can turn this into so many different flavors. My favorite are uh, curry. Oh. You could do like a little or, garlic. Yeah. Mm. Slice your bagels. Oh yeah, or garlic, salt, garlic, yeah. salt, or onions. Yes. And it's like making a toast. So in the oven, in the oven at 350, if they're thicker, it's gonna take a bit longer, but look here. That looks These delicious. are so different from this one because this one is thicker mm -hmm. compared to this. So try to put on the baking sheet the same thickness of bagels and you will have something great to snack on, very healthy. On top of that, it's uh, any, you won't spill anything. You you Ricardo, will keep the deal for your family. We have family. to get to the you dip because yeah. you said this we is wanna... the best dip ever. This mm -hmm. is some okay. bragging rights. Yes. Speaking best of Drake, dip. you got the chips and the dip. The and the dip. Let's okay. get to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a hot dip. A hot dip. So you can keep it on the counter for hours. What I do, two brick of cream cheese, two cups of mozzarella cheese. I have like chopped up one cup of spinach. Put it in there. Boom. And then you need to... Two jars of, uh, of artichokes, six ounces or a big one, preferably in oil. If not, just rinse them, cut them into pieces. That's it in there. Two green onions, yeah. half a cup of mayo, and a quarter cup of water. Mm. If you want to add pepper sauce, go for yes. it. You like it uh, hot or? Yes, mm. yeah, spicy, okay, great. Pick it up. Spicy. Put the lid on this and you're done. So put it on low, so low for two hours, and there we go. And then In eat it with hours, a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> 
with a spoon. Look at this. Oh, get ready for a it. Very creamy. Mm. 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 Dip your bagel chips in there. Yes. Yes, all the things. Dip it in there. Okay, it's frozen because it's that good. That's how good it is. So if you want this recipe and all of them from Ricardo, go to ricardocuisine.com. Ricardo, <laughs> shout out to you and your three daughters. I know the middle daughter is working the camera. Thank She's you. She's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Stay safe from coast to coast. Thank yes. you, Ricardo. You too. Send us over some of that tip. We need some of that tip. Ship it over. For Thanks, sure. Ricardo. We'll be back I'll with more Breakfast Television Canada right after this. Give me that.